Hi and welcome to Grease Girl Garage. Today we're going over a very simple diagram of how does an engine work. Now, if you are like most people and like how I was once upon a time, I had no idea how an engine worked. When I first started getting interested in classic cars, that was the first thing that I went and asked my grandpa to sit down and explain to me what was going on under the hood. Now, regardless of whether you want to work on cars or you have zero interest of getting your hands dirty, it's a good idea for everybody to know the basics of what's going on in that thing that powers our car. So very quick one minute explanation, stick with me and we will go over how a combustion four stroke engine, which is found in most of our cars, works. First stroke is called the intake stroke. What happens on the intake stroke? The cylinder intakes fuel and air. In order for a combustion engine to work, it needs fuel, air, and spark. Sound familiar? So, fuel and air is going to come in the intake valve into the combustion chamber. It's going to be all happy inside that combustion chamber. And in order to draw that fuel and air in, the piston goes downward to do that. Next, we're going to happen the compression stroke. During compression, what do you think happens? This valve closes. It's got all the air and fuel it needs. The piston's now going to push upward. All of these fuel and air molecules, they're going to start getting excited, moving around, getting happy. Compression is done. Now it's time for the exciting part power stroke. At this point, these are all happy little fuels and the spark is going to come and ignite inside of the cylinder and cause an explosion. Your car runs on explosions. How cool is that? When this explosion happens, pow! It's going to send the piston downward that power from that explosion is what makes your car go. Once the power is done, now you've got all the spent fuel left over in there. In order for another cycle to happen, this needs to exit. So your exhaust valve is gonna open and the piston is gonna move upward again and push all of that air out. So it's a clean cylinder again. What did I tell you? Learning how a compression engine works is as easy as pie. Now that you know the four strokes to an engine, intake, air and fuel come in, compression, all those molecules get excited, power, an explosion happens that powers your car, and exhaust, all that spent air gets pushed out your exhaust. So the whole thing can happen over again. If you wanna keep learning in the garage, join me on my own adventures by subscribing to my YouTube channel or checking out greasegirl.com. Wherever your journey takes you, happy trails.